What's going on guys, Balkan Architect here and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to build complex walls in Revit with all of the structural elements. So walls usually aren't just monolithic walls, well sometimes they are, but usually they have some construction elements inside and they're a bit more complex and I'm going to be showing you how to do that in Revit today. But before I get started, I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial. It helps me out a lot. And if you haven't already, I suggest you subscribe because I make tutorials like this every day. Okay, so let's get started. So for this, I'm just going to be using the architectural template. So let's open that up. And here, whenever you go to the wall command, let's just go here and create a simple wall. So let's say we have this wall over here. Now, as you can see, this is just a monolithic wall, but usually we would have some construction elements inside. Now, I'm going to be showing you how to work with concrete walls as well as wooden walls. So let's start off with wooden walls. So first, let's change the structure of this wall. So here I'm going to go into Edit Type, go into Structure, Edit, but before that, maybe duplicate this, and let's add here Structure. And now let's go here into edit and here you can actually edit the structure of your wall. So you can go around and uh, you can add some layers. So first for the structural uh, part, I'm actually not going to make it a structural material. It's actually going to be an insulation material. The structural elements are going to be added later on in Revit. So here let's find some insulation. And let's go with this pink stuff because that's what everybody uses now. And uh, yeah, let's use that. Now here, I'm just going to insert another layer. This will be some sort of a, I don't know, let's use it as finish one. And here, uh, let's go with, yeah, let's go with the thickness of two. This should be some plywood or sorry, 20 if it's two centimeters. And let's change the material to some plywood. So here we've got plywood sheeting. So let's use that. Now we can insert one more material and that should be finish number two. And for this one, let's add some gypsum wallboard. Okay, here we go, gypsum wallboard and let's make this 10 millimeters. Now uh, let's add some more layers over here. So let's bring this all the way down, insert one more. Okay, so this one should be finish one and this one should be finish two. This, now here we can select this plywood material, go control C and then let's just place it here. And here let's place that gypsum wallboard material. Okay, I need to select it first, control C and then paste it over here, control V. Okay, so we've got this material and let's add the thicknesses. So 20 and 10 and let's just hit OK. Now it says here that the layer function priorities cannot ascend. So what we have, yeah, the problem is maybe in this thing. Let's do finish two, hit OK. Yeah, as you can see, I've categorized this in a wrong way so that it didn't let me finish the wall. So now let's finish this wall and here it's a bit thicker as you can see and we need to go here to find so we can see actual wall layers. Now if you can't see these you're probably here in thick lines so just go over here then lines or TL as the shortcut and now you can see all of the layers. So as you can see here we've got that uh, insulation material then we've got uh, two centimeters of plywood and then one centimeter of uh, some uh, gypsum wallboard. Now let's start adding those structural materials. So for those, I'm going to add them as uh, just uh, simple, uh, simple uh, uh, columns. So go here to structure, go to column, and then here, as you can see, we don't really have much options. We only have these steel columns that don't work with this project. So let's go here into load family, search for structural columns, Let's go with wood, let's use timber, hit OK. And here I'm just going to choose whatever because we don't have the, the exact size and go here into edit type. Let's rename this one. So let's call it, I don't know, it's the structural uh, element should be like 20 centimeters times, I don't know, something like eight centimeters. Let's call it 20 by eight. And here we can turn this into 200 and this one should be 80. 
hit apply okay make sure that here it's soft lumber and now if I spin it around as you can see it perfectly fits inside of the wall I can place it over here and we can see it let's go back the reason why we can't see it we need to change this height from depth to height and let's connect this to level 2 and let's do the same thing for the wall let's connect it to level 2 go back into the beam rotate it around as you can see it snaps to the middle part and just place it like that so you've got your structural element then you can align it so just AL to align it over here and then to make the whole construction you can array it so AR is for the array you go here with a linear array with a number of I don't know something like six for this we don't need any more then go here to last you select this edge and you just move it to the other side but before that I always uncheck group and associate because you don't need that and here we go we've got our construction elements now if we go into 3d it looks kinda like this so here we've got the construction elements and now if I go here into realistic it looks really ugly because it's gray and it doesn't look right so if you want to see the actual layers in 3d as you do in level one where here if we go into realistic it actually lights up in colors that we want to have if we go here into our 3d come on okay so you can select your wall and go here into create parts and now as you can see we can see that this is gypsum this here is plywood and then we've got some insulation material inside and we've got these construction elements so our wall is perfectly working okay so we've got our wooden wall but what if you're working with concrete elements so let's go back into level one now for creating concrete uh, walls you usually don't make the whole wall out of concrete well sometimes you do but when you're using bricks you, the whole thing isn't uh, just bricks you have bricks and then you've got some concrete structural elements so let's recreate that so go to architecture wall let's go with the generic 200 and let's just place a wall like this so we've got this wall and let's now edit it so select the whole thing go into edit type let's duplicate let's call it let's just call it my wall okay now go here into edit structure we can have the structural element at uh, 200 and here let's just change the material into maybe some brick so let's see yeah let's use this common brick then let's add more materials so insert uh, up up okay here for this one let's go again with insulation okay let's go with this and here we need to change this to thermal air layer and let's give it 15 centimeters for insulation okay that should be 150 okay then let's insert something more so this should be like the finish and here let's change the material to that gypsum wallboard so just gypsum okay here it is and let's change this to something like two centimeters so that's 20 and let's add another layer uh, on the bottom and that should be that same gypsum wallboard finish layer so let's select the gypsum wallboard Control c go over here Control v and there we go so we've got all of the layers set so if i just go okay okay here we go so we've got our gypsum element over here then we've got some brick then we've got some pink stuff and then we've got some uh, facade okay so now let's add the concrete elements and let me just go back into hidden line because this looks really ugly okay now let's add the concrete elements these are usually some uh, just uh, these columns that go in corners and uh, if the the wall is too long in my country when the wall is longer than six meters you need to add a concrete column in the middle so that's just what I'm going to be doing so just go here to structure column but we only have the timber one as well as the steel one so let's go here into load family and let's go back a folder concrete square open and here we go go into edit duplicate and this one should be 20 by 20 so 200 by 200 hit OK this should be 200 okay there we go so now zoom in over here and kind of place it like that make sure that it's 
actually going from level 1 to level 2 and let's do the same thing for the wall level 1 to level 2 there we go now we can use the align tool to actually align it with the edge of the basically the structural material you can lock it in place and now it basically moves around with the wall you get the point then you just make the same column everywhere else so kind of place it there come on okay we need to align it here so align it like that and let's you do the final one over here there we go so we've got some uh, concrete over here and let's add the beams so on top of the walls you're usually going to have some beams connecting these columns so for that let's go into level 2 okay here we go then go to beam then go to load family because again we only have this ugly steel beam so let's go into concrete framing so structural framing concrete 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 rectangular beam open that up go into edit type let's see what we have yeah let's duplicate and let's do 200 by 400 i think that's just fine so 200 by 400 and this should be 200 and this should be 400 okay once we have this again make sure you go here to find because you won't be able to see anything and then just go from one side to the other and you can do the same thing here and here and here okay and let's add a floor as well of course so let's do a floor okay floor a rectangle now for the floor you can start you make just make sure you finish the floor inside of your structural material so you can either go from this edge or from this edge or from anywhere inside I'm just going to go from the outer edge just make sure you don't go here to the edge of the finish you need to go to the edge of the structural material and let's do the same thing over here there we go and then we can actually lock it in place to make it move around okay once we have this let's hit no of course and now let's create a section going through this so now if we go into section as you can see over here okay we need to change this floor let's change it to something smaller uh, let's go into edit type duplicate yeah 400 millimeter floor who needs that 200 is more than enough more than sufficient okay so if we go here into fine as you can see now we've got our brick here or maybe let me go into realistic okay we've got our brick over here but it's actually going through the beam so uh, it shouldn't go like that so maybe we can go here to modify cut and then cut the wall with the beam or maybe even just join it yeah that will work better and then just join everything together so join the beam to this so you just join all of the structural elements and now you have the construction that looks like this now maybe we can just change this uh, floor uh, and give it some concrete material so let's search for concrete yeah maybe this one and there you go so it's the same material and it's just continuing on and you can do the same thing over here so you just need to go to join and then join the wall with the beam and join the wall with this thing and join this thing with the beam and now you don't have that line and it's just continuous so we've got our complex construction here in our wall and if we're going to level one here as you can see we've got our beams inside of the wall and if we go into 3d and now maybe we can select these walls and I kind of break them apart in parts so just go to parts and now you can see all of the materials now here where we joined the floor as you can see uh, or the beam as you can see here it's nice and flush and here it isn't so you can just go here to join and then try to join everything together Yeah, it might take some time, but you get the point. So you're just joining these elements together.
But anyway, that's how you create these complex walls in Revit. So you've got your beams and you've got your uh, structural framing and that's how you create these complex walls. Okay, so I hope you have learned something new in this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like and share this video. And if you have any questions, comments or suggestions, make sure to leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and have a nice day. Thank you.